Hi everybody, I'm Carl and welcome to NAC 3D Designs. In today's episode, we're going to assemble the top portion of our chassis. So let's get started. Alright, so next thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and finish assembling our uprights. I'm going to go ahead and start putting all of our T-nuts in and our metric 5 by 8 millimeter bolts. Now I'm going to skip one T-nut, there's one that slides up in here, and you need a small Allen wrench to get to it, so until we've got everything locked in place, I'm not going to put that in, that's going to be the last T-nut and, and bolt that I install. Right now on this one there are two bolts that go in through here. All right, so next thing we need to do is we need to assemble our crossbar that goes up here and put that on. All right, so put our cross brace in. We're gonna need our piece of 2040 extrusion that was cut to 453 millimeters. Go ahead and slide it in place. Take our other rear idler, slide it onto it, and then you will have to Line it up. That's going to move around a little bit because it tends to spring out. We're going to suck it in together. You're going to need one metric 5 by 16 millimeter bolt, and it goes through a hole right here at the top. Sips that in down nice and tight. And then once again, we're gonna put in all of our T-nuts. We've got one, two, three, four connecting it to here, and two, four connecting it to this one here, and then we'll connect, the, put the four on this side as well. We'll push this together, tighten everything up, and measure and make sure we're the same distance, which should be 520 millimeters from the inside edge to the inside edge down here at the bottom, as well as up here at the top.
Oh, for any of you watching, I screwed the pooch majorly. There are no bearings on these rails. So, before we can go any further, I'm going to have to take this cap back off so that I can slide the rail on this one. And I don't want to deal with this wiring, so I'm going to have to take this rail off, put the bearing on it, and put it back in place. Okay, so be very careful taking these out of the bag. You don't want that plastic rail to slide out of there because it's much easier to put these on if it's in place. It does not take much to make it fall out. And you just want to line that plastic up with the shape of the rail. And the bearing should slide right on. So back to measuring, 520, 520, it's dead on right now, I'm going to tighten it up before it moves. Double check, make sure it does not shift while tightening, 520, 520, all right. Now we have the framework assembled. The last thing we do is we need to make sure this is sitting at a proper 45 degree. Now I bought this nice little digital angle gauge from Harbor Freight. Literally cost me like $20. zero now it's zero degrees I put it on here it should read 45 45.4 so it's a little steep Zero. Forty-four point nine, forty-five point one. That's usually about the best I can get it to dial in at. 
I'm gonna go ahead and tighten up these screws and see what it sits at once it's tightened. Okay, so we're at zero. We're at 44.9 degrees. Now I'm gonna do the same thing for the other side. Zero. 45 on the money. Now the only thing left to do is to put in these two T-nuts and screws that I told you we were going to save for last. And there we have assembled the main framework. All right, so that wraps up today's episode. Now remember, if you like what I'm doing here, subscribe to the channel, ring that bell for updates. If you'd like to help support the channel, there is the printed solid affiliate link, an Amazon wish list, and a PayPal me link all in the description below. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you soon.